Last week, I discussed how the environmental goals of the ESG investing criteria have amounted to nothing more than greenwashing. It's an attempt to put an environmentally friendly sheen on standard bottom line capitalism. But a shocking report that came out pretty recently puts a finer point on the extent of the scam. One of the methods that corporations use to signal their green ambitions and meet net zero pledges is carbon offsets. Now, the idea here is pretty simple, if a bit morally tortured. Corporations can figure out how large their carbon footprint is and then buy credits that represent an equal amount of carbon taken out of the atmosphere. Now, this is usually done through tree planting or forest preservation. If an airline, for example, is viewing jet fuel producing CO2 in the atmosphere, they can clean their conscience, signal their virtue to customers, and make good on governmental emissions regulations, all by paying a company that will certify they have planted enough trees or saved enough trees to make up for that airline's CO2 emissions. Now, on its face, the concept already sounds kind of sketchy and misleading at best. For example, Shell just delivered a shipment of 70,000 tons of liquefied natural gas to Taiwan in a deal that they had the gall to celebrate as greenhouse gas neutral. How can they get away with this preposterous claim? Well, they justify it based on the idea that they purchased enough carbon offsets to make up for the 190,000 tons of CO2 emissions that this amount of LNG will create. Here's some Shell big oil corporate propaganda that explains the concept. Nature can be used to compensate for emissions that cannot be avoided. Most cars still rely on traditional fossil fuels, for example, gasoline or diesel, and it takes time to replace them. Adoption of electric cars is on the rise, but for many people they are currently too expensive or impractical. Still, people and organizations may want to take responsibility for the emissions produced from driving the vehicles, by efficient use and with the help of nature. By investing in forestry projects that store and capture CO2, carbon credits can be created and used to compensate for the emissions from the use of fossil fuel vehicles. So Shell is arguing basically, we don't need to change what we're doing at all. We can just invest in a forest in Kenya and poof, net zero. The idea of a giant shipment of fossil fuels ever being labeled zero emissions is, of course, insulting on its face. But a recent bombshell report from The Guardian and a consortium of other journalists shows just how much folly is truly involved here, because apparently the whole carbon offset business is just one gigantic scam. At best, at best, these offsets do nothing. At worst, they are actively making warming worse by pulling the wool over the eyes of gullible consumers and complicit governments. Here is The Guardian, the headline sort of says it all, revealed more than 90% of rainforest carbon offsets by biggest certifier are worthless, analysis shows. Investigation into Vera Carbon Standard finds most are phantom credits and may worsen global heating. Now, the article goes on to note that credits from this one company are used by Disney, Shell, Gucci, and dozens of other corporations. In fact, Vera is a giant in the space, making up three quarters of total voluntary offsets certified in what is now a $2 billion market. So this is big business, and it's a terrible situation for those who actually care about dealing with the climate crisis and not just confusing consumers with corporate virtue signaling. In order to analyze Vera's claims here, The Guardian, along with their partners, relied on two different groups of scientists and a team of journalists to further analyze the results those scientists found. They found that in, quote, 32 projects where it was possible to compare Vera's claims with the study finding, baseline scenarios of forest loss appear to be overstated by about 400%. Three projects in Madagascar did achieve excellent results and have a significant impact on the figures. If those projects are not included, the average inflation is about 950%. Vera, of course, disputes the results and offered a different methodology, which they claim showed much more significant carbon benefit. But what the multiple research teams here show is that the amount of force actually saved by Vera's projects is wildly less than what they estimated in planning their projects and selling credits. It makes sense, of course. Vera and other similar companies have an incentive to cut corners and do their projects as cheaply as possible. Companies buying the offsets want the most greenwashing for the cheapest cost, so they certainly don't want to rock the boat here. And we all want to get a product with a little label or promotion telling us that our purchases are actually good for the world, not just contributing to a glut of planet-killing crap. We feel better 
checking the little box when buying our airline ticket that claims for a small price we can offset the carbon generated by our weekend getaway. And governments, which know that climate action is popular, are similarly disincentivized from digging too deeply to expose that the whole thing is actually a farce. It is one giant self-licking ice cream cone. In fact, in our own country, California has the most significant state-administered carbon offset program. Now, the idea is that homeowners and large landowners alike can be issued carbon credits for preserving trees they would have otherwise cut down. Then, those credits can be sold to private business as carbon offsets to help meet their state-mandated emission reduction goals. But, like other carbon offset systems, the whole thing is easy to gain by claiming you were going to cut down trees that you actually never really intended to cut down. And sure enough, new satellite data shows that the decade-old program has accomplished literally nothing. According to this data, Timber companies, they're not logging any less, and the offset project forests don't look any different from a carbon perspective than areas that are not part of these offset projects. One way logging companies appear to game the system is by claiming that forests they own, which have effectively worthless trees, are part of the offset program. These trees are not valuable on the market, so the companies were not likely to cut them down anyway. Meanwhile, they continue logging the areas that do have market valuable species. This has the perverse effect of actually subsidizing the operations of logging companies. That's obviously the polar opposite of what a green movement would actually want. As one expert told the New York Times, quote, the most basic problem with carbon offsets is that you're trading a known amount of emissions with an uncertain amount of emission reductions. But there's also the whole trading approach of companies being able to buy their way out of their responsibility to reduce their own emissions. This scheme is part of how corporate America seeks to confuse and undermine our politics, tricking affluent consumers into thinking their choices are noble and tricking voters into thinking that the masters of the universe are actually good guys driven by real concern for the planet. In such a landscape, forceful government action isn't necessary, of course. It's a clean conscience for sale with zero challenging choices. Who wouldn't want to put the blinders on and pretend that it's all exactly as advertised? Hey guys, ready or not, 2024 is fully upon us now, and Sagar and I have been brainstorming ways that we can really up our game for this critical election. Yeah, we rely on our premium subs to expand our coverage, to add staff, to upgrade the studio. We just want to give you the best independent coverage of this election, which is possible. So if you can help us out, become a premium subscriber today, breakingpoints.com, or the link is down here in the description video. It really means the world to us, and if you like what we're all about, this is the best possible way to keep us 100% independent, working only for you.